It was formed uh, in uh, Florence uh, many years ago. To this year we celebrated our 20th. So we decided to move to Dubai as we wanted to seek for international context and uh, a bit more of uh, challenges and uh, chances to, to get what we want in uh, our design uh, practice. It's very interesting because we we arrived in 2008, so it's been almost 10 years since we are here. And in this 10 years, we saw a lot of changes, especially in the taste of, of, of the people here. So the market has changed. When we arrived here, for the commercial, there was a lot of space for modern design, but in the interior, in the private residence, the residence still the taste was not so open to the contemporary. Instead, now we are seeing that th this is happening a lot. So, so we are very happy about this, that the, the, the trend is changing towards what we like, so we are lucky about it. This is difficult. Uh, actually, as you say, luxury can be exclusive or can be just something that's uh, very difficult to achieve, but, but not uh, necessarily for a few people. So, uh, it's very difficult to to answer. And sometimes we say that uh, for some reason luxury is uh, when you can afford to, to waste, to waste space, or you can afford to have a silence, or you have a view. This is, you know, luxury things are something that... Uh, uh, Intangible. Exactly. Yeah, not related more to a special material that costs a fortune. I think nowadays is no more this than the meaning of the luxury. We are doing our project in Riyadh in which the client is sick for minimalism. So for him the luxury is not showing off too much compared to the others, you know? So this is interesting. Yeah, very recently we are trying to... Uh, another way of being uh, luxury is uh, of course being sustainable and uh, uh, we try to work in the place with the material we found and uh, of course in, in the GCC uh, natural rocks or sand itself it's uh, the, the matter that you have uh, um, available. So we're trying to make a couple of uh, projects with the ramed earth that for us is, uh, is not that new as a technique but we never use this. Uh, we just saw it in, a pub, in the magazines or with the, some other projects and now we are, we are doing two projects uh, with this uh, new technology and uh, we like it a lot, uh, uh, either in terms of outcomes uh, formally and also for what it means uh, in terms of sustainability. Because you work with the sand that you find in the place and you make a building of it. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's happening. Of course, there is a, a time span uh, from uh, words to real actions, but I think that the fact that uh, this region started already uh, five, ten years ago, talking, uh, seriously talking about sustainability, I think it's a good move. For us, 3D is fundamental. So uh, our 3D specialists are still architects, so are not just 3D. So we are working close with them to, to, to come up with the project and, uh, and now we are experimenting the VR technique so you know with the, with the glasses so we can provide our client with a real feeling of what will be their project. And real time change and of materials. Yeah. So he walks into the space and with a click you change the color of the walls of the carpet and whatever. Yeah. And we use this 3D not just to tell the project as it is and a final view but to conceive the project. So we, we took uh, uh, the model and we just saw how it worked and uh, we, we adjust the shapes and volumes and the, the space. Uh, we, we design in 3D with the help of this, these uh, tools. It's part of our concept, uh, uh, putting together two different components. One is uh, the, the massive components that we can define like the hair. It's uh, something very solid, massive, something that represents your heritage and your solid basis. And on top of it, we like to work with something that is uh, ephemeral. It's something replaceable because uh, most of the time it's technology. And uh, you know, today works this way, tomorrow is gonna be 
gone and replaced by something else and the two elements still will work together. Basically, we like to think that the, the solid component will stay and the femoral one will be replaced for, from time to time. Clients usually are not technical. So when you present them plan and section, they don't understand what we are talking about. Instead, if you can enter in your project, you really have the feeling of what will be. So you also for us, is maybe it's that more time consuming at the beginning, but then it, we avoid the misunderstanding and the mistake or something that they will not like when they will see the, the final one. Oh, yeah, you don't really avoid it, but uh, <laughs> yeah. at least it's more pleasant, you know, to, to work on changes. <laughs> it's all about the changes of mind. If I have to be honest, the, the, the real challenge is to find the, the right audience. Uh, it's difficult to, to get in touch with people that share with us the same vision and the same way of working. So, uh, many misunderstandings, many arguments in the end because uh, uh, I think uh, as we always say a project is like uh, the product of a mother and father so if the mother is the architect the father is the client they must work together and they must they must share the same vision so in many cases we are we are asked uh, to approach a job just because uh, they know that we are related to some uh, luxury brands or because I don't know why, but uh, there's not a real uh, interest in the way we, we see. And uh, in the end, this doesn't, doesn't have a good outcome. So but this is when the most it does, it's really nice. When it does, yeah. it's Brilliant. breathtaking, yes. Yeah. Actually, they are and they might be, but in the end, uh, the projects that are working in commercial uh, projects, uh, there is always uh, the, pro the problem with uh, budget or time, some constraints that uh, in some ways they, they are uh, binding, you know, the, the project and also the relationship we may have uh, with our clients. Actually, we are quite happy. We achieved a, a few projects, but uh, we don't do everything. So, um, if we are asked to to make some stylism, or you know, this way, or uh, we tend not to agree. Uh, and I must say that in the few occasions that we had a chance to move the direction we wanted, uh, the result has been uh, very good. I mean, either a little store 60 square meters or a larger uh, villa or we have done something that we are happy with yes